Yerra. Good evening to everybody, people that's watching us tonight. I'm really excited about, about these things. You know what's amazing about the Kingdom of God is that we can learn what the Kubas ask to raise hands who learn something from this morning. And I understand that some of the things that you've heard this morning might be a bit difficult, it might be not that clear, maybe it's not understood correctly. But um, no, one thing is for sure, is that you're learning. Faith comes. Faith comes yeah. by hearing, yes. and hearing comes by the word of the Lord. Yeah. Something that you received this morning, you heard it, and it got stuck somewhere inside of you. And maybe tonight, while you're in your bed, ask the Lord, ask Him, ask Him. Let me dream about this. Show me, Lord. That's why we've, we've got His Holy Spirit, so that He can show us things. If it was not for His Spirit, we would have been just religious. I, I, I declare war against religion, really, because a religion takes you nowhere, nowhere. So I want us tonight to look at this. This is so important, this is so overwhelming. I said this morning that I want to show you something tonight which what the human spirit can do. Not just when the Holy Spirit has come upon it, but you get people that's in this in this earth, they are extremely successful. They achieve things that is so overwhelming purely by using the human spirit. They're not using the spirit of God because they are not born again. So this, there needs to be an understanding of the, the, the strength, the power of the human spirit. But what we need to understand, and this is so important, is that every information that you need concerning you, concerning who you are, it is with the human spirit. Everything you need to know, every information you need about God, considering God, concerning God, is with the Spirit of God. <clears throat> so you know yourself based on the human spirit given to you by God. And you know God. You can only know God by His Spirit given to the human spirit. Romans 12 says that we must be transformed by the way we think. Imagine living a life without using Holy Spirit based on worldly knowledge, worldly wisdom. We heard it so many times that, that this, the, the, the saying in, in the church is, God gave me a healthy mind to make decisions. I'm telling you, much, the majority of decisions that we make is made out of our human spirit, not with God's spirit. And then we, we, we take a lesser spirit 
to make life choices. And then we make mistakes because we used a lesser spirit instead of God's spirit. But that's not what I want to talk about. We can, we can speak on this topic for a long time. But I, I want us to understand tonight that what I want to share, it's so profound, it's, it's scary, it is so, actually it's disturbing to know that, that a man can even prophesy unto you using his human spirit and not the spirit of God. I've seen this many times. I've heard this many times. So we need to explain this. How a man prophesies and how to tell that this is not God's spirit speaking to you. This is not God's spirit speaking to me. This is a man making use of his human spirit to prophesy to me. You are thinking prophecy in and on itself, of itself, that prophecy is always inspired by God, God alone, because it's a godly thing. It's the Spirit of God speaking when somebody prophesies, and as long as it is stamped prophecy, it's the Spirit of God. Because prophecy is also a gift of the Spirit of God. And you cannot, when somebody argue, you cannot argue with somebody that prophesies because it is God's Spirit speaking. Prophesy by the human spirit. We can meet at a place as human spirits without the God Spirit. He doesn't need to be present. And amongst us, we can give each other knowledge of each other without the Spirit of God. And we can steal information from one another as human spirits. Me getting close to you, me being a spirit, me being a human spirit, you being a human spirit, and you being a human spirit knowing the things of man. Everything about you is known by that spirit, that human spirit. Everything that you can even not remember, because you are not the memory, you are not the soul or the mind. So I can have access into that information that you know as a human and you can share that information with my human spirit. The two of us as human spirits can exchange information about each other. And I can prophesy your life based on the information that I'm not getting from the Spirit of God, but getting from your Spirit, the human Spirit. Because that Spirit knows the things of man. So now, what then qualifies you to access this information if it's not the Spirit of God, what qualifies you? The human spirit. You know what I'm saying? Being it, the spirit of man, doesn't make it an evil spirit. You have to, you have to hear this. Being it, the human spirit, doesn't make it an evil spirit because that spirit comes from God. What I didn't say is, I did not say 
that he's prophesying by a demon. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he's prophesying by the human spirit. You can prophesy by the human spirit. But how do you know this prophecy? Is it by the spirit of God? Or is this prophecy by the human spirit? By the spirit of man? How do you know the difference? Which is which? You have to look at the content of the prophecy. You look at the quality of the information that's been given. If it's by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God will reveal the things of God for your life. If it's by the human spirit, it will reveal things to you, things of a man. Hear this. Here I, I'm here. If I'm here and I'm coming to you, you are a spirit that knows the things of you. Nobody knows you better than you, the spirit. And that knowledge that you, the spirit, have of you goes way back from generation to generation. It, it, it even goes back as spirit to the time of Adam. Everything that your spirit knows, most of it, you don't know. Because it's been, it's known in a subconscious, it's in a subconscious state. So the things that you think you don't know is just that you cannot remember that. You have to hear what I'm saying. So you have a spirit that knows the things of a man. And that spirit is capable of communicating with another human spirit. So if a man who has a trained human spirit comes into your proximity, come close to you, there can be a sharing of information where you have your human spirit sharing information with his human spirit. Let me say it like this. Have you ever heard when prophetic people start prof prophesying, they normally will pick people from the audience unto whom they will prophesy by means of, I trust, that it's by means of God's Spirit showing them unto whom they must prophesy. But you can sit in an audience with such a desire for a prophetic word that you will draw that prophet towards you to prophesy on you. You did not draw him by the Spirit of God. You draw him by your Spirit unto his Spirit. To prophesy unto you. Let me say this again. So if a man who has a trained human spirit comes into your proximity, there can be a sharing of information where you have your human spirit sharing information with his human spirit. Now I begin to know the things concerning you. This is where you now can have a man talking to you about your father's 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 father and what was happening in that generation and a person can tell you also that even the diseases that's coming in your bloodline everything can be told but you notice that the majority of the information that is shared in that prophetic word covers the things of a man. Then you will know that that is your human spirit. When 
there's been prophesied over your life and it's all the things of man then you know that your human spirit has betrayed you your human spirit has shared information about you the spirit unto another human spirit I'll show you this how do you know now that he's done prophesying this guy's prophesying over your life and he's telling you things he's getting he's drawing he's extracting information from your your human spirit how do you know that it's done now prophesying over your life by his human spirit when the prophet starts touching on the things of God because the things of God are revealed unto the human spirit by the spirit of God hear this what things of God on what things is he start touching of your life he starts talking to you about God's plan for your life the things that God intends for you the things that God wants for you that's when you know that it is now not the human spirit prophesying but the spirit of God it's not where you come from and it's not where you're going to it's not about your name and your address your telephone number because that your spirit knows if, if it's prophesied over you who you are your identity number your house number your telephone number your cell phone number your birth your, your identity number your spouse's name your children's name listen those are not the things of God those are the things of the human spirit the things man knows is extracting that from your from your human spirit all those information falls under the things of man that the spirit of man already knows and because the spirit of man knows it He's giving it to me. So now I'm prophesying to you based on information that I'm getting for you from your human spirit that knows everything about you. Your spirit is betraying you, giving information about you unto my human spirit. And from that information, I prophesy unto you that's what it says but how do you know now that he's prophesying by the Spirit of God the moment he starts tapping into the things which are not yours now He will begin to talk to you about God's agenda concerning you. God called you for this and God is preparing you for this and this is what God wants. He's explaining God's plan unto you. He should start prophesying future oriented things. And he can even present past things or present things as long as the things that he prophesies are the things that God prepared for you. That's why people who, who is not related to God, who does not, not have a relationship with God, can tell you things about your past. People go and sit with people that read tarot cards and crystal balls and hand reading palms how do they know 
They extract it from your human spirit by their human spirit. They are prophesying to you without the spirit of God, but with their human spirit. Extracting information from your spirit. Call it telepathy. The transmission of information. You will notice that from the beginning to the end, everything they prophesy is about you. You will be this, you will be that, you will do that, you will be successful in this, you will have millions, you, 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 everything's me. Because it is your human spirit that's betraying you unto their human spirit. So you wait until all the information given about you is over. What you do now is you look for parts in that prophecy that's God. For them that are not born again, they cannot access the things of God because they can only, the things of God can only be accessed by the Spirit of God. They will always, most of the time, they will speak to you about the past. And when they speak about the future, you will hear it now. So by the Spirit of God, you can only know by the Spirit of God the things of God. You will know the things of man by the Spirit of man. So what they do is, when you have the ability as a human spirit to tap into another human spirit's information, you can start generalize, listen, the future from the present by giving the trend of events. You will hear this. So don't be surprised when somebody begins to tell you it becomes telling and say to you that the death that you will die is going to be an experience that is so terrible. And you think that it's been prophesied, that prophecy about the future life of yours, that, that, it's coming from a human spirit. That guy, person, picked up something about you. He's reading the trend of events of your life. There's a way things are happening because he's speaking that as a human spirit. He picks up that you love fast cars. You love speed. You love to drive fast. You big stuff. So now he's using that as an entrance point to get into the future, saying that there's a possibility that you are going to die in an accident. So now you think that he's been told that by the Spirit of God concerning the future. No. He's been told that by the human spirit. Your human spirit. He's reading the character traits of the human spirit. You know, get a person that sleeps around. He's, he's human spirit. Tells that to your human spirit. And now you just follow the traits of what's happening. There's no way that this person is ever going to survive some kind of disease. You will never escape a disease if that is the trend of his life. So now he, 
His Spirit tells you, or you telling Him about His sickness, you tell Him about His future as, as if He's been told by God what His life is like. And yet, with that information, He can be built up and built up and add on. You can add on, you can, ex you can make that prophecy so long. You can add on to that until it reaches eventually death if you know just how to read his human spirit. I'm saying this because there are people without the spirit of God who can prophesy to you by the human spirit. I don't think that the term prophecy covers just only prophets. No. Because there's false prophets also. So whatever they prophesy, it's still a prophecy, but it's false. There are people with trained human spirits. You can train your human spirit. A human spirit can be initiated to a point where you can, without the use of magic, without the use of divination, where you are, you don't you have to use it. I'm not speaking about demons. I'm not talking about using demons. I'm talking about the power already given unto your human spirit. <coughs> you know what I'm saying, church? I'm not saying anyone that's using his human spirit is using a demon. I'm not saying that, no. Because that human spirit is a spirit that you receive from God. But that spirit knows the things of a man, not the things of God. There are times, even as a prophet, who hears from the spirit of God, you still have to prophesy by the human spirit. Remember what I said this morning. Remember what I said. You have to feed your human spirit with the things of God. So that when your human spirit speaks, it's God speaking. I'm bringing you to a place where you can discern what happens when somebody prophesies over your life. By what spirit is he prophesying? Is it his spirit or the spirit of God? Not all the information about the person is ever going to come from God. You have to hear this. For a moment, do you just think that God sits there and, and He wants to tell somebody that this is your telephone number, this is your house number, this is where you were born, this is how old you are? No, He's too big for that. That information that you get, you get it from a person's human spirit. God says, deal with what I've given to you. And then when you need more information concerning the things of God. Things that the ear has not heard, the eyes have not seen, and has not yet entered into the heart of man. I will bring that to you by my spirit. So go ahead and talk to him about everything else that you can get from his spirit. But God, please God help me. I really want to deliver this man from his circumstances. But I don't know where he's coming from. Talk to me about him. God says no. Let him talk to you about himself. No man knows the things of man. But the spirit of man in him. These are the things that some of it, 
Some of this is actually become so unlawful, it is so illegal, it can become dangerous. You have to know this. It can become dangerous. Information that you extract from a person, you can penetrate certain areas of that human aspect in order to gather that information for that person to be restored. Yohan saying, church, please Yohan saying, when you sit with someone in counseling, you extract from that person's human spirit information. You are gathering information from that person's human spirit so that you can use that to bring restoration to him. It's in counseling you work with much with that information that you extract from a person's, from an individual's human spirit by, me, by the means of you using your human spirit and the spirit of God to get that information. Listen, you can access a part of a person who knows the things of a man by the spirit of a man in him and the spirit of man will give you whatever information you need. I'm not talking about demons. I'm speaking of the human spirit will give you the information what you need. We are not relying on demonic information when it comes to building a person, when it comes to restoration of a person. Although that communication is possible. That's not what we want. That's not what we get. Or where we get that information from. No, we don't get it from there. The human spirit that came from God is giving that information, not demonic stuff. So you might ask, can this transferring of information happen against an individual's will? It's a good question. Can it happen without my will? The question is then, on that question is, where is a person's will? Where is it seated in? Because you, you can assume that it's a physical thing. That the will is in the physical. And the, the physical is not interested in this. No, 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 no. That's what you think. Where is the will? Because when you connect with that human spirit, he's willing to transfer information. You see, there are so many ways of extracting information when it comes to investigations, even what the police uses. There's so many ways. In some cases, they torture people to extract information from their human spirit. Their spirit is getting to know their human spirit by the extraction of information that that spirit carries. If you want information from a person, no matter what, you can get it. You can get it. There's a state of mind, it's called unconscious. And that, listen, there's a state of mind, it's called unconscious. And that is a conscious state. So when you find yourself in an unconscious state, as a conscious spirit, Everything that you will find is conscious. When you sleep and you have a dream, it's an unconscious state. But you find yourself in that unconscious state, in a conscious state. Everything that you experience in that dream 
it feels like you're there. So it's conscious and everything that happens there is conscious. It's the same with this. You can be there for days and we will get to know everything. It's not that difficult to obtain information from a human spirit. There are the things that people without spirit are able to do. There are things. And people tap into your human spirit without the Spirit of God. So if you think this cannot be, this cannot be true, I'm telling you, this is what happens in the churches. This is a thing that happens in the churches. Individuals are attracted to those churches that function in that. The phenomena, this sensation, this getting the information. How do we know his telephone number? Ask, I've, I've done that. The question is by what spirit? Are you extracting those information by the human spirit? Yes, you are. Because the God spirit will speak about the things of God, not the things of man. He will tell you things that the eyes not seen, the ears not hear, and has not yet entered into the heart of man. People are attracted to these things. You think that you can keep your secret to yourself? I don't want, I'm, not, I'm not opening up. But there are those who can crack into your human spirit and your human spirit willfully will reveal and transfer information about you. The scary part of this is where is the Spirit of God in all of this? Because it's the Spirit of God if He's not involved. If the Spirit of God is not involved in that whole scenario of extracting and receiving and restoration and building, then it becomes dangerous. That is now why we are explaining how people without the Spirit of God can talk to you about your mother. They can tell you how she is. They can tell you where you're coming from. They can give you your name and address, your telephone number. And you are so overwhelmed, so shocked by that. Wow! Why? Because it's a conversation between your spirit, your human spirit and their human spirit. And you're not even conscious about it physically. You're not hearing what your spirit is reporting about you. So you are saying, wow, he knows everything, yet it is you that's telling him that. This is not happening when somebody is falling in the floor, rolling around. No, no, it's not happening there. As we are here in this place tonight, here in this church, there's communication taking place. Will that you want to or no, you are giving information right now. So the reason why you say, he sees, he knows everything. No, you are telling him. He just taught, he learned his human spirit how to do it. You arrive in a place, he calls you by the name. Wow, wow. How does he know? 
because you introduced yourself unto him. And he's a spirit, and you're a spirit to this communication. He's trained enough to hear you introduce yourself, but you are not trained enough to hear yourself when you introduce yourself. I'm finishing. <coughs> Church, this is, this is what we can get from the presence of God. <coughs> Paul describes it, he says, he who speaks in the tongue, 1 Corinthians 14. He who speaks, you can read it, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 1. He who speaks in the tongue, edifies himself. But he who prophesies, verse 4 and 5, builds the church. We are prophesying for just one reason. To build the church. How do you build the church? With the things of God. That God called you as a teacher? That God called you as a pastor? That He called you as a, as a prophet, an apostle? That what God speaks over your life? What He wanted to introduce into your life? It's His plan, it's His purpose. But just as that, you can speak the things of man also in your life. Just extract enough information so that you can start speaking on that. But somewhere in it all, you have to find where is the God part of that. Where is, where is in that prophecy what God wants for you? He's not revealing everything about the man because what the man knows is what's in the spirit of a man. So it's not wrong to prophesy from you or from your human spirit, but your human spirit must speak as if it's God speaking, not fleshly stuff. We can get this from the presence of God. We've been speaking on this, we've been discussing this for the past three weeks. Wealth. Spiritual wealth. How rich you are in the spirit. How rich, how wealthy we are spiritually. The things of God is what makes us spiritually rich. It makes us wealthy. I'm just giving you something to think about regarding prophecy. Because so many people want to be prophesied over. Yes, extract from the Spirit. Extract. But when you prophesy, say what God is saying. The things that God has prepared for those that love Him. The whole intention of my life to prophesy is to build the church. Not the building, but you, the church. Yeah. To get you excited about God's plan for your life. Yes, it's good to know your telephone number. Yes, it's good to know your address. It's good to know where you stay. It's all overwhelming, awesome. Praise God for all that information. But that is not God's Spirit giving that. That's the communication between, between, between two human spirits. One is betraying the one, giving all the information to another. And now to speak that so that you can have a wow factor in your life. How did you know? But it's not God's Spirit giving it, it's your Spirit that introduced that, that give, gave that. We have to learn, church, 
There's so much that we need to learn so that we can be steadfast. What you can do as a born again believer received a spirit from God and now you are born again and that spirit from God becomes can, if that spirit can come into partnership with the Holy Spirit because then the Holy Spirit is the one that testifies with your spirit that you are a son and a daughter of God. If that partnership can grow, what can you do? The empowering by the Holy Spirit upon your spirit. And you function as a spirit because the empowerment has come from the Holy Spirit. And now power is released and you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Your human spirit by itself is a lesser spirit, it's a weak spirit. It needs the Holy Spirit because it's your spirit searches by the leading of the Holy Spirit, the deep things of God, but without you willfully say, Lord, here I am. There will be no searching. You will never know the things of God. Because the human spirit by itself does not want to do that. It needs some kind of discipline to get to the place of searching and be led by the Holy Spirit. Don't be scared of prophecy. Don't be scared of prophecy. It's necessary in our day that we live in. I'm telling you, and I'm not, I'm not going against any other ministries. But the need for prophecy is so important in our day. Because I've seen too many people fall and fall away. So whenever you're going to speak unto them, you have to speak from God's heart unto them so that they can hear what God says, the God things about their lives. Can you imagine every decision that you and I make, every decision? The human spirit will make it for you. I promise you, and you will make decisions about the things of a man. Can you imagine decisions making in partnership with the Holy Spirit? It will all be to glorify God and not to glorify man. Spiritual wealth. Spiritual wealth. We cannot hold our life on a seesaw. We cannot build this journey of us on a seesaw. Today I'm feeling this high and tomorrow I'm feeling this low. You cannot build this relationship, this journey on emotions, on feelings. You have to build it on faith. And faith by itself is dimensional. We're all looking 
move forward to a place where we will function from out of relationship and not faith. We have to get the body of Christ moving forward. We cannot move one step forward and two backwards and think we're gaining. We don't. All of us experience difficult difficulties, difficult times. We all experience death. Name all these things that comes our way. Like I said this morning, it is not for us to go to and fro, to and fro, up and down, up and down in this life. We have to go forward. We have to migrate from one level to another level. We've got each other. We can work out things. Somewhere, we need to let go of the things that keeps, keeps on distracting us, our lives. And just ignore those things. Get away from me. And move forward. There's things that God has prepared for us that loves Him. Things that He wants you to discover. Things you want you to move in. If you spend all your time with this rubbish that's that's pulling you back all the time, you're not gonna go forward. When are you gonna come to the things? The things that the devil has that he pulls you back all the time is the things that you allow, it's the things of man. The things of God is what makes us superior over those things. The things of God that He has prepared. My Father has prepared things for me, for Anton, for me, for me. And nobody is going to reveal it to me except me saying, Nevertheless, Lord, nevertheless, my will, but thy will. I surrender my life unto you. I'm taking hands with the Holy Spirit. I'm coming into a partnership with the Holy Spirit. Lead me, Holy Spirit, into the process of growth. Lead me into the things because you teaches me how to search the deep things of God. And now I find myself inside of the mysteries. And the mysteries becomes revelation. And that revelation is just what I know. But there in the mysteries, that's where we grow. We grow in mysteries. The things of God. I'm a candidate, I'm telling you. And the problem is I haven't got much time, I haven't got time to waste. So I better do something about my time. Because I'm not getting younger. And I don't want to be 80 and not discover anything that God has planned for me, purposed for me. So I'm asking you tonight, church. Only you can make that choice. Nobody else can make it for you. An altar call is not going to do it. I promise you. A prayer is not going to do it also. I promise you that also. But what I know is, I said it this morning, it's been prophesied over your life much prophecies. Many of us had 
has lots of prophecies. And it's just going to stay a dream. If you don't take it and do something about it. Father, thank you. Father, you, you prepared things for us that man does not know. It has not entered into the ears or into the eyes or into the heart of man. You've wrapped, you've wrapped that, those things in revelation. And then you took it and you hid it into mysteries. And you said, access is yours. Not by your human spirit, but by the guiding and the leading of my spirit. And he will take you to search for those deep things until you find it. And when you unwrap that revelation, it becomes knowledge. Knowledge for your story that you can store. And the more you store in your story the knowledge of the things of me, the more steadfast you will be in this earth. You will stand and you will not retreat. You will be steadfast because that, that wisdom, that knowledge is not the wisdom and the knowledge of this world. It's of another world that you can use in this world to make this world the place that I intended to be on earth as it's in heaven. Thank you Holy Spirit for ministering unto us about the prophetic. Let us understand more things so that we will grow in wisdom and in knowledge of the things of the kingdom of God. So that we can move away from the things of religion that tries to keep us, hold us back into places of comfort zones. Let us break out of this, break through from this, and start embracing the things that you have for us. And all of us that do have your spirit can say, yes, my hand, the Holy Spirit, into the searching of the deep things of God. And I thank you, Father, that we do have access to all these things. You've granted us access by your Spirit. We bless you. Oh, we bless you. I speak a blessing over our house, Father. I speak a hunger, a thirst for you. I speak, Father, that we will become seekers, seekers of you, and that you will reveal yourself in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.